but we know that censorship is becoming a big problem being banned from particular platforms more importantly social media so that's what we're talking about today and we're looking at the whack because it's up about 12.65 percent right now trading at 62.98 now this particular stock is a spec and they're bringing forward a application called truth social which is trumpy trump's application and we know that he's been banned from all different social media platforms all networks across the board no one likes the poor guy look at the face he wants to tweet his fingers are not being utilized bowling doesn't cut it golf doesn't cut it his poor wife is up all night long complaining she can't sleep because all he does is talk about how he can't tweet so he had to bring his own app to market so he's bringing forward this app where you can speak freely zero censorship you will not get banned you have the freedom of speech which is how it should be you shouldn't be getting banned just for your ideologies and your political views. So looking at the Truth Social website, Truth Social is America's big tent social media platform that encourages an open, free, and honest global conversation without discriminating against political ideology. This is the application he's bringing to the market and it's coming to the market on a set target launch date of February 21st. And this is most likely why the stock is running. And me personally, the reason why I'm talking about this stock is I think it's gonna continue to run all the way up until this launch date because who knows how buggy this app's going to be who knows what the media is going to say about it and people are going to spam this and and try and really derail this application which is sad because if you're trying to promote an app that encourages free speech to where you cannot get kicked off particular platforms like twitter and youtube and whatever else instagram TikTok then that should be an application that you should want to be on, one that where, where they do not encourage these censorships. For example, Joe Rogan, one of the biggest mainstream, should we say news outlets now? He, he pretty much is crushing every single other news outlet. He's getting the most views out of any other platform of a way of uh, expressing yourself and interviewing people. Joe Rogan leads move to Getter after Twitter bans this Dr. Robert Malone. Uh, Twitter is banning people left and right for their, their views on uh, any particular subject uh, if Twitter doesn't like what you're saying. Rogan's thinking about moving. He already moved to Getter. He's still on Twitter, but he's using both. He's eventually probably going to fully transition to Getter because they're saying they will not ban you based on the things you say, which we should have freedom of speech on these platforms. So uh, a lot of things are changing. A lot of these platforms are popping up and it's becoming very interesting. I like, I want to be on a platform where I could speak freely the way I want to speak and people follow me because they like what I'm saying. If you don't like what I'm saying, you hit unfollow. The company doesn't need to go and censor you and delete you. So looking at the stock now, now we're up about 13%. Average volume is 4 million. We're at 9 million. We're more than double the volume because we are starting to break out and catapult up. This thing went as high as $175, came all the way down. So interest on this stock was huge to run this up. And then of course there's profit taking, bringing this back down and holding these levels above where it initially started around, it looks like 16 or $10, somewhere around there. And then it held around the $45, $50 range, and now we're breaking out to $63. It's looking saucy. And the reason why I'm talking about this is that I think it's going to continue to break out and run all the way up to $80, $85, $90, maybe even $100 by the time we hit that February 21st launch date. Now, if I look at the options, if there's a call I possibly want to get into that's uh, mid-February, around this date, I clicked on February 18th as the closest one. The next one's February 25th. We do not want that one. We went, well, maybe you do, and maybe you could sell earlier, but February 18th is what I'm looking at. A $65 call right now is up 114%. Today, it's up that much. So big gains are happening on these calls, on shares. Everything that has to do with Dwack is running. And when we're talking about Trumpy Trump, the one that's bringing this to the market, he's getting 50% of the country automatically interested because when it came to the voting, it was split 50-50. So he has half the country interested and half the country that will probably go nowhere near it and think it's a joke and think all the worst things about it rather than just trying it and seeing what it's like. So he's automatically getting all that interest and that's what's running this up. So right now we are hot potatoing on the two hour candles. We are in the RSI hot zone, so this should start to cool down, but this is gonna get saucy. It is gonna start to push up and break out and touch this $80 mark. So that's why I'm gonna be looking to open up some calls, get in some shares and start to ride this thing. I wish I was I was getting in early on when it was around 50, 49, because I had a feeling this was gonna continue to run up as we get closer to this launch date, but I would not be holding this post launch date. Once the app is available, I think a, a lot of bad press is going to come and try and attack this and shut it down because they're directly competing with your big tech companies 
Big Tech are, is like a SWAT. And this guy is a fly. And they're going to try and swat it out of the sky. If you want to know if I do buy this one and get those calls, click the link in the description so you get my stock alerts and my crypto alerts. You get a bing right to your phone when I place that order and I get in when I think the price is super, super saucy. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel. Don't forget when you hit that button, it's going to get you a little bit closer to retiring. Yeah.